stories of a highway patrol. He's walking uh, eastbound, Bill, on the sidewalk. The Florida Highway Patrol chase suspected armed robbers through a Miami neighborhood. I've got a band of vehicle here. I don't know what they're doing. No, I know what they're doing now. They're probably not dressed all the way. A daring couple get a dressing down from the California Highway Patrol. No, they're not dressed all the way. The state police track down a gang of thugs terrorizing a neighborhood. These are the real stories of the Highway Patrol. Buckle up and get set. Tonight we ride the highways of California, Florida, Illinois, and North Carolina. Our partners, the officers and troopers of the Highway Patrol and State Police. Our next case history deals with a mixture of crime, deception, and a family's kindness. Illinois State Trooper Rick Jackson tells his own dramatic story as he actually lived it. I think it's a good idea. I think we got to go for it. We got to do it. Man, are you sure nobody's home? Pretty sure. Maybe my mom's there, but she won't get you into trouble. Lots of jewelry? In the safe. Seven years ago, Dr. Randolph Vickers adopted an eight-year-old Vietnamese refugee. After a falling out, the boy has run away. Now needing money, he has joined a gang that robs houses. As part of his initiation, they make him an accomplice in the burglary of his own house. You two take the upstairs. I'll take the back of the house. Ashamed that he set up his own parents, the adopted son waits in another part of town while the gang ransacks the house. The men, who are suspects in half a dozen other burglaries, work fast and know just what they're looking for. of a wholesale jeweler that they've been following for weeks. <laughs> Troopers are aware of the gang's activities, but witnesses have been too afraid of revenge and won't testify or give an accurate description. <laughs> This time, they not only robbed the house, but kidnapped the jeweler's wife to use as a hostage and ransom her for even more money. What are we gonna do with her? We gotta kill her. The Illinois State Police go after a street gang, holding a hostage for ransom. Thugs in Illinois robs a series of houses and takes a hostage. What are we gonna do with her? We gotta kill her. I don't want a pot of any murder. I just stump her. <laughs> the woman manages to free herself and calls the state police. Rick Jackson, a trooper for seven years with the Illinois State Police, sees a car matching the one she's described. Jackson radios ahead for backup and is soon joined by the Armington Chief of Police and a Delavan police officer. Oncoming traffic forces the fugitives to 
to stay behind semi-trucks or risk a head-on collision. A short distance ahead, other troopers form a roadblock. Several handguns and pieces of stolen jewelry were found in the gang's car. All the men pleaded guilty to armed robbery and home invasion and were sentenced to 10 years in prison. The kidnapping victim was unharmed. Rick Jackson received a Medal of Honor for bravery. He still patrols Tazewell County, Illinois. Tonight at 9, meet all the residents of the strangest town north of Canada. It's the very first episode of Northern Exposure, tonight at 9. But right now, stay tuned for a very special two-hour matlock. Next on WGBO-TV, Chicago 66. He's got to have, at that age, he's got to have something going across him. Oh, the film that goes across? Yeah, he can't just have the...